So you guys know how DNA kits are like really popular, popular these days? Like 23andMe. Yeah, I just yeah. did one. Which one did you do? I did 23andMe like two months ago. And? What'd you find out? Uh, apparently I have nothing wrong with me, so that's really nice. Oh, that's good. Well, what about the culture though? That's more important. Did you find out your part of uh, Labrador? Found out that I, uh, my Corsican side is not French, it's actually Spanish, so that's cool. Oh, cool. Did that take away a slice of your, of your feeling of your identity? Yeah. No, I mean, I, well, I, I found out that my family was actually like part Corsican like a few years ago already. What's Corsican? So it's like an island that France owns in the Mediterranean. Oh, of But it's like kind of near like Italy. Mm -hmm. So it's a bunch of Mediterranean people, they, they live there. So you're part Vietnamese, part Spanish? Is what yeah, you found apparently. Out? Yeah. Interesting. So that's pretty cool. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. But then uh, the thing that did ease my mind was uh, I wanted to really find out my health kit stuff. And I had none of the, uh, none of the markings for like any of the bad stuff, like Alzheimer's and stuff. So I'm pretty oh, happy about that. that's good, that's good. Kind of boring though, you know, I was like, ooh, what do I have? Nothing, okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn. Yeah, I know they even picked up that diabetes runs in my family. Wow. I better check mine. Mm-hmm. It changes too. Yeah, it changes, cause I was uh, it keeps changing. 98% Japanese and 1% Korean. Yeah. And then when I checked again, it was 99% Japanese. So I couldn't, I'm not, I wasn't Korean anymore. We well, probably were just there's reading still way more. Another percent missing, isn't there? They don't give you a hundred. You're probably oh, reading way more about Japanese history, which I know you, you're probably doing. And it changed it? Yeah, it changed it a little bit. <laughs> In my ancestry thing, I could see exactly where Japan attacked Asia, because I could see a little bit of me that's Japanese. That, that time? I'm like, oh. ah, uh, that part of my family is Japanese, you guys. Yeah. You weren't in love. <laughs> no, no. That sucks. Yeah. Sure. That was around World War II. Yeah. I know what happened there. <laughs> There's also like a, a, a feature where you can make it like more intense or light, lighter or whatever what do to you see your, your country thingies. I remember messing more with that. Where more it's like intense. more accurate or like... Well, because they changed their algorithm like a year ago or something, right? And you can see what it was before the algorithm oh, change and know. now. So now I it's know. much more specific, mm. but when you click the before, it's like boom, spread out. like. It's, it shows that you're from all these different countries that you're not from. Okay. I thought you meant intense, like the historical fact, like you were a product of incest. Wow. Or like something like, no, That's like they're gonna sugarcoat it. Like yeah. it's less intense. It shows where, what cities you your family's from, yeah. which is cool. It shows like what cities in Vietnam my family is wow. from, from my DNA. That's cool. Very, really? Oh yeah, mine too. It yeah. says like Jalisco, like this. I gotta thing. check that shit out. Oh, it's been a minute. Yeah. yeah. I'm worried about doing it because I'll, I'll be like from incest royalty or something. <laughs> Uh, with European history and all, you know, you never know. Well, and Floridian history. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, so That's where my whole family's from. So I have this this video here of this girl named Kat, and she's from Nashville, Tennessee, and so she's explaining her story, which we actually don't have an ending, but we have up to this point. So I'm gonna let you guys check out her story. Did anyone else take an ancestry DNA test and accidentally uncover a family seat? <laughs> okay, I got a story for you. My dad came up with the brilliant idea of giving the entire family ancestry DNA kits last year for Christmas. I too have identified as Irish because my last name is McDonald and my hair is bright red. Turns out I'm 75% Norwegian and the rest is like German and British and there's zero Irish. Whoa. I found this out on St. Patty's Day, so I called him cracking up saying, guess what? I'm not Irish at all. He calls me at 10 o'clock, which we all know is like 3 a.m. dad time saying, there's no way you're not Irish. So with my dad on the phone, I log into my account to see if I have any DNA matches. And I had an exact paternal match. It just wasn't him. I confronted my mom and two of my aunts immediately. Everyone, including my mother, was shook. But even my dad recognized the name. Apparently, he was an old family friend. Oh so I googled this dude's name, and he's a billionaire. He's the CEO for a major company, and his three daughters work for him. And naturally, like the unstable millennial that I am, I drive halfway across the country to his corporate office. I tried to give him a letter, but when he heard my name, he refused to meet with me. Oh. Basically, all it said was thank you because I'm really happy to be alive. Wow. Damn. She had a lot of wine. Yeah, you see how that long. tall that glass? Yeah, it was shrinking. Ooh. It was shrinking. The person that she's implying, are we all supposed to know who's a billionaire is? I know. Who's a billionaire redhead, like, though? Who's a billionaire that has three nah, he's working blonde. for him? Hmm? I think Donald Trump has two. 
Yeah. Huh. In the co I I watched this, or but one. in the comments they mentioned, but he's one. unfamiliar. Or uh, I don't know this billionaire. He's not like a super common guy. You saw this because it was on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Billionaire. What's a billionaire ginger? I know. So I know, then, right? Oh, but, yeah. They're usually poor. Yeah. yeah. They don't make it. I know. But yeah, he didn't want to have anything to do with her, so I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Class but he wants to have yeah. everything to do with his three other daughters. Maybe because there's rapport. There's always, when you're a billionaire, everyone's like, I'm related. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, no, I actually, yeah, you are probably my daughter, but it's been some time now. Dude, you know how many daughters come in here every fucking 10 days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many guys, he probably fucked business. a lot of girls, though. Come on, he's, he's yeah. a billionaire. Damn. You know how much whoring I'd be doing? <laughs> what if he just said, um, so how much do I owe you? <laughs> She's like, wait, I just wanted a connection. Goes, no, man, my time is way more valuable than that. Damn. But yeah, so at the end of that second TikTok, she ended up saying that she there could be a potential part three to this story. So who knows where it could lead. But I'm actually really wow. curious to know, like, what happened with her mom and her dad? Like, what happened with her family friend? I mean, he doesn't know her. <laughs> she had to drive all the way out there and fucking get thrown out by security. It yeah, sounds like he knew divorced. about her. But oh, you, oh, I see. Let's see her name, right? Yeah. Like, get out of here. yeah, exactly. So I think the billionaire friend knew that she existed, didn't want anything to do with her. But I'm curious to find out, like, how did the mom fucking tell the, the dad? Like, yeah, I want to know that conversation. Exactly. Well, they might have been divorced. On the converse, I could just go to fucking, like, I don't know, uh, Jeff Bezos' place right now and be like, Jeff, it's Steve Green. I'm your son. Daddy. And then, right. And then he's like, once I heard the name, I'm like, Dad, fuck off. It's not my son. And then I'm like, once he heard the name, that's when he asked me to leave. See? Yeah. Like, it, it, doesn't, it. it doesn't jive to me. Yeah, oh, you could change yeah. It. It's not that way. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or because she said she had a letter. Yeah. So then why would she just announce I'm your daughter? No, I believe that she, I believe her. Yeah. You mean, I thought that was a letter she wrote that she wanted to give to him. Yeah, but it's just like, hey, I'm I'm this person. There's I have a letter, and I don't have to announce I'm the daughter. I believe her. I just think he put his DNA out there, and he's just like Oof. he came yeah, in a he, he cream pie. I don't remember. But he's thing. on Ancestry.com already too, where it's like, did you not expect this to happen? Oh right. Yeah. I feel like Ancestry.com is opening up and ruining a lot of secrets. Good. Because like my on my dad's yeah. side, on my dad's side, uh, his. Oldest brother who's passed away now. I remember when I first went to go visit his side in China um, My dad's like you see his uh, his daughter. That's not really his or theirs. And I'm like what happened? They're like, Well, they adopted um, Because like I guess they couldn't conceive or something and then I'm like Why are you telling me this because I felt like I was like this ten-year-old that's has to like hold on to this giant secret. You actually asked. He's me. gossiping with your ten-year-old ass. <laughs> you actually asked why are you telling me this? Because as a ten-year-old, that wouldn't. Inside, know. in my brain, I was. That's what I was thinking. Oh. And then I was like, and then I'm like, have you told anyone else? Or does anyone else <laughs> you know? Have the right to know. And my dad's like, no, no one knows. So you have to keep it a secret, oh okay? <laughs> why did he even tell you? Like when I have family dinners, I'm just looking at her like, you're not part of our family. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so then, do you think during dinner after this, after this during dinner, was your dad like? <laughs> Imagine. He's such a fucking prankster. But then when I go home and I tell my mom, and my mom's like, "Oh yeah, yeah that's uh, she she was adopted." And Everybody I'm like, knows that. And I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "I thought she doesn't know." But then now your dad knows that you can't keep a secret. Yeah. True. Well, he doesn't watch the show, but and it's too late. And I'm like, but if they start, he doesn't doing, watch the show. Not this show. Doesn't understand. Oh. <laughs> but if they. He has oh, auto tra translate. Does it he work? likes the vlogs. <laughs> he does like the vlogs. You got scared immediately. Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if they all do the Ancestry.com stuff, then all these secrets will start coming out. All right. I don't know. I find that my mom watches the show a little bit. Because really? she's like, I'm not that much of a hoarder. And I'm like, that's what a hoarder would say. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what a hoarder would say. But, but was she like, I am fine, though? <laughs> no, that's my sister. sister. Yeah. My sister doesn't watch. She doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's does your mom get uncomfortable? With you making comments about your sister being hot? No, she knows my sister's a fucking dime. <laughs> <laughs> she made her. Nice. But yeah, I don't know. It's so interesting. I kind of want to know more, like, family drama with uh, this lady. What's going on with your life, girl? That's why you need to download TikTok. <laughs> no, don't make me. Brent's trying Wait. to convince me to download TikTok again. Why have you made TikTok so interesting to me? I was ready to leave it behind. You don't have TikTok. No. 
TikTok is amazing. My wife got addicted it's to it for like nine days and I didn't even see her. It's one of the funnest yeah, things that me and Gio do before we go to bed. We, we put the, the phone, lean it against the pillow. No. We used to watch TV shows, but now we just lay there and we just scroll through TikTok. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And you both agree so on, on one phone? On one phone, because I don't have TikTok. You, you agree have on the, the same algorithm? algorithm? I mean, we both kind of like the same weird stuff, so we just kind of like. Snap pop dancing? So we just, I don't know, we just like all what, kinds what of. Are, what are you guys watching? Um, there'll be ones about like, some of them are really dumb. <laughs> some of them are, well, like, they could tell your future <laughs> in like 30 oh, seconds. What? So some of them are really yeah. dumb. How does that work? The fortune telling globe or whatever it is. Yeah, some of them but are the, like. But it's just you put a picture, you post it, but then they're like, oh my god. You know, so the reaction stupid. is like so good that you're like, okay, cool, yeah. And then some of them, it's like an animal taking care of another animal. You know, those are awesome. I like that oh, shit. Cool. I like that shit. And then some of them, it's like best house mix 2020. And you're like, oh, those are good house jams. <laughs> Before bed, though, no. Yeah, just like, Gets you too high. It's just so random and it's cool. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah. I would lay in bed and then my girlfriend, she used to like be really into TikTok. So then, like, I, you can't ignore it because she's just like laughing at random shit right next yeah, to my ear. Exactly. And I'm like, oh, open it, open it, let me see too. And we'll just both watch together and she's scrolling through. And sometimes something's interesting, but she passed it. I'm like, no, 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 go back, go back, go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Dude, that's why, like, Instagram pretty much is TikTok now because they just repost TikTok. So yeah, that's why I'm like, no, I don't need the app. No, no, I already got it. I already got it. Because now Instagram is late. You're on yeah, time and you're with like, it on true. TikTok. Instagram is like one week later. Mm. It's okay. I can be late. It's all right. You know, demographics wise, it is that. It's like, I think Instagram is a late millennial to whatever the generation is above that. And then I think TikTok is what's Gen Z. Yeah, Gen Z. Yeah. Gen Z's don't even use Instagram. Like my nephews, yeah. none of them use Instagram. Yeah. You can read in the comments, Instagram is dying. Yeah, Instagram, Instagram, is Instagram, Snapchat, Instagram. and then TikTok. Snapchat is in the middle. It blows my mind. I'm like, wait, so how do you guys share stuff with each other? Like, cause in TikTok you're creating content, you know? So I'm like, how do you just share your life with each other? They, I guess they, they just use dances. Snapchat. Got kicked it. out of school. <laughs> Mom beat my ass. Well, Isaac got a, a phone for his birthday, now that he's 13. What kind of phone he got? Oh! He got my old iPhone. Oh, oh hey, that's tight though. No, iPhone 10 and my that's old big. Apple Watch. Dude, that, that to him is a brand new, like... No. no, and I kept it really nice, so it is practically brand new. <laughs> no cracks on the screen. Zero cracks, no. pr in pristine so condition. He's happy, he's like, yeah! He cried, it was so... He, was, he cried? We have a vlog, so go check that's it out on our vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying he to cried. tell you. That's cute. Yeah, it's super cute. <laughs> So, it was um, an intimate moment, and we have a vlog. <laughs> you gotta go check it out. No, I mean it was. We did like a little party, a birthday thingy. Don't no, skip the ad party. breaks, you pricks. Yeah, you assholes. No, let me get to the point. <laughs> so he has a phone now. I told him you can have social media now that you're 13. But, Which one? But uh, just make sure it's private, and I have to follow you, and I gotta know what you're doing. I gotta be a good parent. Um, and so he only has TikTok on his phone. He doesn't. He didn't download anything. Oh. Well, you like, she can't follow me this yeah, way. Yeah. She doesn't even have the app. <laughs> she doesn't know the, he knows. the gram. dancing girls that I watch. The yeah. gram is for boomers. I don't know. I didn't ask him, but <laughs> I, I actually don't want to ask him. Like, are you gonna get an Instagram? Because I kind of don't want to push him to get one. Does he think we're cool? Like, does he think I'm cool? You think? <laughs> no. Does he have no. Prayler or Prawler? So we're lame. <laughs> but like, no, I know what? that you, like you and Casey are lame, but the he's Republican like, one. What's the Republican Instagram? Parlor? Parlor. <laughs> Parlor. <laughs> Stupid. I gotta get my right wing news. Stupid. No, but it's so cute though, but because I don't have TikTok, oh, so he sends me links to the videos he likes, or he's constantly, like, if you look at our, our like, t chat, it's all TikTok videos. And so I'm constantly on TikTok, but not on TikTok. Oh, I only yeah. see it through the Safari. Man, that's tight. I can't oh, wait to. I can like have conversation with Taika like that. I love it. Just texting him, it's so fun. And then we FaceTime, it's so cute. That's, That's how I feel about my kid brother. I have a I have a kid brother who's like my baby brother. Like I remember changing his diapers and shit. He's what is he, like 28 like, or some shit? Yeah, he's like seven years younger than me, so he's like literally like fucking 35, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but but no, but um, like talking to him and like sending him memes and shit and talking about shit and like sometimes he posts gifs He's like I'm literally coming to this because it's like crypto shit or whatever <laughs> And I'm like I see that and I just remember him as a child and I'm like this is so weird and yet so funny at the same time Yeah, yeah, it's, it's weird how it all changes That's true. Tyson has the most boring conversation <laughs>